stripped down to my birthday suit. Meet the Mitchell family. Good morning, friends. I just finished my workouts and today I did things a little differently. I went at 6.30 in the morning, so it's actually 7.30 right now. And I did that because I have to take Azibin for a follow-up appointment today. Uh, as you guys remember, he was having some respiratory issues and so I'm having a follow-up appointment with the doctor today and talking about, you know, helping him out long-term. Same for the other boys, really, because their allergies really mess them up. You know what? I lived through this with Gio also, so it's like, uh, it's like nothing new to us, you know? And so whenever they talk about certain courses of medication or certain things that we have to do or things that we should cut out, it's no nothing new. It's just going through the motions again. And, you know, kind of like uh starting the gym or anything else or any experience you have in your life, once you've done it, you don't feel so it doesn't feel so daunting so i remember the first time when we would get this type of diagnosis with geo it would like rock our world you know um and even with jackson it would rock our world and then you know with atlas it doesn't rock your world so much with us you kind of know what to do and we're half expecting it with ivy you know so yeah then today we're actually also taking ivy to an ophthalmologist we never know if i said our word there may i tell you the truth um to check her eyes now a lot of you have noticed like and if i had been vlogging when all the kids were little you would have noticed it with them as well that they have kind of like a slow tracking eye i had the same thing when i was little um and all of the children had it also so jackson atlas and oz had this slow tracking eye and now ivy has it and it is definitely uh improving as it normally does at this age but just to be extra safe and sure we are still going to go and check it out apparently the, mo the eye has like eight muscles in the eye and so sometimes they're not all as strong or you know in one eye as the other and yeah so we're gonna go check on that today yeah busy day ahead so that's why i had to get the gym done early so that i could really get myself on the road and ready to do everything on top of all of that the kids are off of school as you know it's easter break and it's easter weekend coming up actually you're gonna be seeing this is it good friday Anyway, you're gonna be seeing this on Easter weekend, so I hope you guys are having a good Easter weekend thus far, um, or getting off to a good Easter weekend. It's Wayne's birthday on Sunday, and we have a little something special planned, so we're looking forward to that too. All right, guys, we will catch you up as the day goes by. Yes, Lord, we Just are. Came back from the doctor. Man. Wait, I see. Hold on. When we walked in the Mommy, doctor's office and he saw, you, he saw all of us walking Mommy, in, he said, Mom, "Kiss my granny." Mommy. <laughs> yes, awesome. Okay. Just go there and check out. The food. It's not even nine thirty, and it feels like it's four o'clock in the afternoon. You know, when somebody Kid, tired. Kidding. But okay. tired. But everybody got checked out. Everybody is sorted out. I had to eat Janko wee with sweet. Janko? No, gave, no, not, not cockroach wee with today. Today we got Janko wee wee. Um, big up to Kids Clinic, man. Kids oh, Clinic yeah. is just... It's and been our go-to place for the last, you know, um, well, I've been, I've been visiting Kids Clinic for years, but we were going all the time. Um, even, even, I used to, used to take Gia there, you know, especially when we're in a bind, like, you know, when you need to see a doctor immediately. So, um, Dr. Royce and the whole team at kids clinic El Shaddai is just amazing and we love everybody there it's always so kind so friendly it's wonderful very sad to see so many kids like suffering with this respiratory issue though like literally every kid in there had a cough and you know you can go to any pediatrician office right now and they will tell you that they are battling this post-covid coughing 
what we're going through with the boys is nothing new, like I said earlier. I have lived through this, even down to the medication that they have today. We have been through it so many times already. And um, so it's a far less daunting process than it used to be. So anyway, again, big up to Kids Clinic, big up to Dr. Royce and the entire team who just provide a wonderful, wonderful service. So yeah, love that. By the way, did I mention Dr. Royce was my pediatrician when I was a kid? So it is just, a, it's very nostalgic um, visiting with him and watching my kids. How old was he back then? I don't know, to tell you the truth. Hi guys, what's up MTM family? I'm on a buzz, I'm on a vibe right now, you know, this is my birthday weekend. So nothing can really get me down, it's Easter. Whole heap of vibes are going. But also they on a vibe. Guys, let me, let me give, let me whisper to you And tell you a secret. You see, when you weigh yourself on the scale, you weigh yourself first thing in the morning. No drink no water. No do nothing. And guess what I do too? Shh, not tell nobody. Strip down to my birthday suit. Oh, what kind of weight that me see this morning, people? The plan at work. The plan is working. And guess what? I still eat decent meals. I still cheat liquor here and there. But guess what? For the most part, I'm not eating how I was. Or I'm not living the lifestyle that I was before. So, regardless, there's, I'm going to be in some sort of deficit because I used to don't care. Me eat whatever breakfast more I eat. Me eat whatever lunch more I eat. Me eat whatever dinner more I eat. And if I'm hungry in between, me eat a snack. And if I stay up late, might be me eat a next snack. Who knows? Right? So, it's really just about adjusting and, and doing a lot better with your the, with the, with the choices, with your the, with the food choices and stuff. So, me no say. If I stick to that plan, yeah, I have some bonus weight. We're going to just go so quick and fast. Because I never need that weight in the You see what I'm saying? So I work, people. Tammy and the kids are on the road. That's why the house is very quiet right now. Um, not just on the road. They went to doctor's appointment and whole heap of nice things. Tammy wake up from morning and she had my inspiration in the people. At 6.30, she wake up because she had an early morning with the boys. She called the trainer and said, yo, what about at 6.30? I am going to say, yo, see you. Yeah, my inspiration. And right now, I look forward to the gym and walking in the evening. Walk yesterday in the evening. Why, why do the thing? We are do the thing. All right. Stay tuned for what's next. Birthday weekend, guys. All right. So the thing there, man. More time we substitute the milk with the almond milk, isn't me? Or even the, the, the 1% and, isn't me? Right, this is the thing there. No breakfast, just a nice shake. Strawberry, blueberry, and thing. Oats and you understand? banana and you can add whatever fruits that you know it go and then the protein shake are the real deal is it me give, give all of the protein that you need that is it What? Um, this cockroach wheel. Really. <laughs> <laughs> we had to, we had to eat John Crow wheel. Your pediatrician is the best. He Must be a whole Mary and that, you know. <laughs> and for some reason, it tastes like so good. I know it tastes like a mango lollipop. What? Yeah. Maybe the cockroach eat a mango said, before. We said. Doctor, Doctor Royce, have you ever had the, the cockroach with your hair now? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, me don't need it. <laughs> I need that. No, Tommy, have to tell me all about <sighs> it. The three boys, them. Wayne, it's not even 10 o'clock good, but sad. Mm -mm. My boy, I'm breathing that thing for you get now. So you say, girl, <laughs> you're I had no time to change. <laughs> I was like, boys. Let's go! Oh gosh. So, he tell me, he tell me, I don't forget Jim. He said, this is a workout. I said, it's so true. So, how you go? Oh, go on. All well, all is well. Them behave themselves. All is well. 
Always you do you them like the goat them? Yeah. You have to hurt them. Yeah. <laughs> was a thing, trust me. And then I had the bright idea to be like, let me get them something to eat, because we left early. They've mm -hmm. been there since 7.45, so. Okay. Anyway, whatever. So we'll I have a lot to do. We just don't give Momo some vlogging classes. Oh, very good. Where's my Ivy Bean? She never looks so hot this morning now. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. If I know one thing, I do the next thing. If I know one picnic, I do the next one. I'm tired. All right, so we just finished up with our appointment for Miss Ivy Arrow um, with the ophthalmologist. And I'm not really sure what I was expecting him to say, but I was half expecting him to say that something was not okay. But she's completely fine. And it's it's a pseudostrabismus. So strabismus or strabismus is when there's a crossing of the eyes. But it only looks that way because of her epicanthal folds, which are the folds right here in her eyes. They're just larger. So it makes the eye ooh, look a little like it's crossing, but it's not. So we are going to be checking her again in eight months just to make sure everything is still good but for the meantime she's totally fine and it's kind of like a little trick of the eye that we're seeing which is why which is what so I saw with the other boys too and even with myself as a child so are they Chinese, are they? it is actually <laughs> I feel like epicanthal folds are very related to that Asian side of us. Mm. Um, what a relief that her eyes are okay. What a relief. Been doctored out this morning. Yeah, I, I definitely am. And Dr. Anderson was great. Yeah. We just went to. He was so <laughs> kind and so nice. And you know, dealing with with children is one thing. Dealing with babies is another I thing. Know. Especially with something like the eyes. And he had all his, his special equipment and stuff yes. to do whatever checks he Wayne was like, it. Inspector Gadget. I was like, no, no, Wayne. Like, the man is being a serious <laughs> Anyway, we're going to drop home Ivy. We're going to go and pick up all of the prescriptions for the children. Jesus, and it's camera shaky. It's camera shaky, so we're just going to stop filming now. See you in a few. Well, we are not very smart because we just realized that tomorrow is a public holiday. Uh, which means we don't have any food in the house uh, and I don't know how that going to work so we are literally now at the supermarket when I tell you say low shoe sun is fully packed we just got lucky to get a parking space because everybody is buying food for the weekend tomorrow it, we don't have no sprat is not tomorrow for fries sprat I know tomorrow with a fries sprat it's hard to say fries sprat you know that was what did I go do to spot off a fry pan from Easter weekend. But more and I try the fry fish and bun. Yuck, never. We need to test that one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're going to test it. That's not a thing. But as a matter of fact, we're going to order fry fish this evening. From where? Down the road. I'm a little nervous because it is packed, but we have to make sure that we have food for this weekend. So, <sighs> coffee time. Oh, do you guys like my red nails? Oh, the boys requested red for my nails. What may I ask is what 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 do you have planned for me for my birthday? We do have a little something special planned. Um so we're excited about that. I guess you guys will see that Monday. Um but yeah for now my arm is going to work off. Let's go inside. Let's do this. Is I'm not ready. Face? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Birthday boy face <laughs> I ever see anything like this? Mm -hmm. Baby in my arms and this one is cussing. Watch here. My mommy. <laughs> my mommy. Uh, yes. Huh? My mommy. <laughs> uh, yes. What? My mommy. You're cussing. Yes. My mommy. Come on, mommy love. You hear that cussing? My mommy. My mommy. 
My mommy. Oh, yes. <laughs> my mommy. Oh, yes. Mine is more more teaching if I cut it down. My mommy. Mine. Your cousin. Your cousin. My love. My aunt. You went touch the karma. Oh, sweetie. You're so beautiful. Love you. Yeah. 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 He, he, call for your father. Call for your father. Okay, Yay. <laughs> Today, while we were on the road and at the doctor's office, the various doctor's offices, and even when we went to the supermarket, um, and I had a chance to meet some of our MTM family, something that's always so heartwarming to me is when people say to me, Gosh, I've seen Ozzy grow up on MTM. Now I'm seeing Ivy grow up. I'm seeing the boys grow up. And it's just such a connection, you know, that is just amazing, really. And I guess, I mean, I guess anybody who doesn't get it just won't get it. It's fine. And it's not for everybody. We're not for everybody. But for those who get it, like, you guys get it so deeply. And you take such good care of us and we're grateful that when we meet you that we feel the connection with you it's really nice so yep she's growing up guys almost 10 months old what happened you man i come look for you and you're not here oh, yeah go away I some lilies some easter lilies mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your, your free birthday your free birthday hug what look, look here I'm, I'm here you bring lily for in fact you know as i said to tell me it's perfect for your office so we're, we're heading up there with it okay it will promote work nice <laughs> looks yes, lovely darling so where have you been so long i've been here waiting <laughs> All right, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do yeah, so I quite understand, really. Yeah, <laughs> I quite understand. We're having a lovely time with your, your daughter. What's up? Yeah. I'm back. Jumping. Hi, Ivy. Hi. You see Dada? <laughs> you see Dada? You see Dada? <laughs> so you look so handsome. Is Come it your man. birthday? I want to hear me wow. tell the barber said, oh, make me look young. Him do home. it? And uh, yeah. the last of the four pounds. My, and the last, the gun up the four pounds, no, you know. Oh, you, oh, you managed to bring that one on us. <laughs> and people, they are oh, trying yeah, four pounds for years. Look at them, man. What's that thing heard me? Every day we're working and we can't lose. I have to just blame it on the good jeans, you know? I mean, I must have some of those. That too. is right. Yeah, so? yeah, you have the you good jeans, but remember, say you're gone, you graduate and gone to the next. You understand? <laughs> the next one. You're in the next stratosphere, so it's harder for you. What is? It's harder for you too. You understand? But the G's them good. So believe in the no. process. Trust the process and just keep consistent. No, right? I'm working at it. You are. I'm very consistent. And you're good. It's paying off. I'm, I'm yeah. very consistent. It's just that we can drop four pounds in two weeks. Guys, I'm going to drop some pictures that <laughs> mommy sent to me ah. just to show you where my kids get it from and how we stay like some pictures when i was probably about eight eight or nine nine the most but we moved when, when i was nine so it was at our old house so the show how we used to hug up daddy and how oh, a long time your boy i love him food and you understand Mommy sent me some pictures. I, it's the first time I saw that picture when I was eating. Yeah? Yeah, that was and the first time. Standing behind you? Yeah, that was the oh, first okay. time I saw that okay. picture. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to share those with MJ. I know one. Hi, my guys. Daddy. One pepper. Dad, can you charge this? Yeah, I'll, I'll charge it soon. What? Charge it now! No, if I charge it now, it's still going to be until tomorrow before you can. I know, it. I know that! Okay, okay, alright, Mr. Lawyer. So, can you please go and charge the thing? Yes, alright. Come please. around here now. Will do. Yeah, no. I come, have... come, come right now. You are not my boss, I'm me, I'm your boss, you know. So, guys, when you know Atlas, right? Yesterday I was walking, this big, tall, thick security man with face mask up and big rifle in her hand hear him to me now marshall no tree you can't see my face you know i love mtm you know i watch it all the while you know he must say yo atlas i see him so me this day 
Just take time with him, alright? I know him going to challenge you, I know him going to be a trouble. But just take time with him. And I have to say, boss, you wouldn't know the half. You wouldn't know the half. But I did take it on because you know the truth is, the kids will be kids, right? And we have to just deal with all of them on the merit of their personalities. Is God sent him to, you know? So I wouldn't change him. I, I honestly would not change him. When I saw the pictures of myself when I was younger, I just see Atlas. Yeah. I honestly, just yeah. see Atlas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack, as, as, as different as Jackson is to Atlas, is same. So Tariq was to me what, when we were growing up. And see, mommy there for testify. <laughs> It, it, it's all a part of a puzzle that fits together perfectly and sometimes you don't see how the pieces going to fit until um, yes. years down the line and look who does drop in at the picture of the nice of the place man, look at the <laughs> look who the little piece of cheese don't come nice of the sandwich yes stick out your tongue stick out your tongue Mm, uh, 